Hindi ito ang unang beses na nagtalo sa Senado si na Gordon at Trillanes. Nagkainitan din ang dalawa sa Senate hearing ng Committee on Justice and Human Rights sa isyu ng extrajudicial killings sa bansa. I will cut this conversation right away. There is no need for it. The proper time to ask the witness is that, are you the same person referred to by Mr. Matabato? And I will suggest that you ask that question and I will give you that uh, right to do so. December 2016, inilabas ng Committee on Justice and Human Rights ang report nito tungkol sa issue ng extrajudicial killings sa bansa. Base sa report, walang nahanap ang komite na katunayan na mayroong state-sponsored policy para patayin ang mga taong sangkot sa illegal na droga. Wala rin umanong matibay na ebidensya na mayroong Davao Death Squad. Pero sa pagkamatay ng labing pitong taong gulang na si Kian De Los Santos, isa si Senator Gordon, sa nagsabi na malinaw na kasalanan ito ng mga pulis. Nasundan pa ito ng pagkamatay ng 19 anyos sa si Carl Arnaiz. Doon sa EJK hearings, meron siyam na mga testigo na kasalang noon na magtitistigo no, para sa EJK. Pero hindi niya na pinatawag, nag-albruto siya doon sa CHR tapos hininto niya yung yung committee hearing at naglabas na siya ng committee report na inaabsuelto niya si uh, Duterte sa mga EJK, wala raw EJK, wala raw uh, state-sponsored EJK. Eh ngayon, mahigit 10,000 na yung nangangamatay. Kaya isang tao rin siya na responsable dito sa mga nangyayari sa ating bansa. Pagdating ng committee, dinala nila si Matubato, dinala nila lahat yung mga Davao, Davao Death Squad ko no. Wala akong tinawag na witness. Witness nila lahat yun. Nung lumabas yung mga testigo nila, nando si Matabato sa taas, hawak niya, sinabi lahat, even Las Cañas, so by that time, had already had a spiritual uh, experience, uh, sabi niya ganun, uh, nung, wala, wala, sinasabing wala na silang kwan, wala silang uh, nakilalaman niya sa Davao Death Squad, walang, hindi niya ma-approve. At kami, tinutugis namin. Eh, nung natapos na kami, tawagin na si Matabato, Ba, ang balik sa akin na Sir Jantan, Sir, pinauwi po ni Senator Trillanes. Nagalit ako. That's why I said I will put file ethics upon him because he should respect the chair. So the this day, is the, the second day, time you, are, you yes, filed it? The next day, what he, happened to the first ethics charge? He apologized. Charge? He went hmm. to Senator Pimentel. Sabi ni Senator Pimentel, bago tayo dito, sama-sama daw tayo. Walang problema. Sabi ko, madali naman ako ang kausapin eh. Bumaba siya. He shook my hand. Sabi ko, okay. Ano, mahaba pa pag-uusapan natin. Huwag kang ganyan. Hmm. Dahil ako, ma mahaba pa ito. Tapos sabi niya, hindi na ako magsasalita. Paglabas pa lang, tinira na agad kami. <laughs> so sabi ko, incorrigible. Hmm. Hindi talaga masus masusog. Nung hearing na yon, alas 8 ng umaga, nandito na si Matobato. Ako ang nagtatago sa kanya. Yung security niya nasa akin, uh, nasa kamay ko. Alas 8 ng umaga, hindi nila pinatawag hanggang gabi. Tapos nung magagabi na, sinabihan ako ng aking security na alanganin na yung gabi at uh, yung uh, security niya ang importante. So ipinaalam sa akin. Ngayon tinignan ko yung hearing, eh ang dami pang mga testigong mga pulis na nandun doon. Inisip ko, since may schedule pa naman na hearing the following day, eh di nagpasya ako na paalisin na. Tapos nung nalaman niya na pinaalis na, saka hinanap. O di ngayon, bumaba ako, in-explain ko that it was a judgment call. Your chief of staff, mm. who talks for you, mm. said the Senate Committee on Justice and Human Rights never concluded that no extrajudicial killings were happening in the country. Never concluded. Uh -uh. Oh. In fact, Committee on Justice and Human Rights uh, states there is no proof that there is state-sponsored policy mm. to commit killings to eradicate illegal drugs in the country. Mm. But your state-sponsored policy, you define as written policy. Mm. However, the committee took note of the many thousands of killings with impunity taking place every year mm. in the last two decades at least. Yeah, I did research mm. on extrajudicial killings mm. for the past 30 years and nine months mm. before Duterte. Welcome to the club. The number of killings was 5,000. 306 hmm. killings. One killing is one killing too much. Yes, right? all right. But under Duterte, under the first four months of Duterte, the killings already exceeded 
that of 30 years ago. So, you know, it's, it is not, I don't think it is fair to equate the two, the judicial extrajudicial killings under Duterte yeah. with the extrajudicial killings. Because you were saying, you know, all of them, all of them have, have fault in yeah. extrajudicial yeah. killings. I, I don't, I think the magnitude is different. Okay. Talawampot dalawang U.S. in the last several years uh -oh. ang pinatay. Isang para sa mukha ng, ng husgado yan. Bakit mm -hmm. ba't wala nasusawd? Okay. Ah, tumitindi. Tumitindi ko ako dyan. Nag-privilege uh, nag speech ako. Pero hindi niya. ba kayo na nalulula sa number of extrajudicial killings in the span of time? Mo, you know, 30 years and 9 months and then here's 5 months of Duterte nalulula, and more killings. Nalulula ako sa isang patay. Ay, alam ko. <laughs> you know that because yes, we, are, we have been touched by murder mm -hmm. twice. Mm -hmm. Nalulula ako. Kaya nga, masulit. Your father's murder was never solved. No. Mm -hmm. no. Ang problema ko, kailangan akong katulong naman. Kaya, you made three, you have, you made five suggestions. Mm. And none of them have yet been enacted into Na, What is their status? Exa example, this, these five cases, you want a Motorcycle Crime Prevention Act Approved. making big, you know, it's such a simple thing. Just make the, 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 the motorcycle licenses big. Bigger. Okay. Uh, Approved in the pa. Senate. Inaaway pa ng iba mga motorcycle yan. Uh, what is the one in the House? Huh? What is the ma status? Yan. I'm willing to bet with you, ma yan. But it's actually, well, of course. Ang dami kasing batas eh. All right. Maraming priority eh. All right. So, what is the status? Tell us. Yung police court. Basta police ang bumaril. Tuloy-tuloy <laughs> sa court na alam mo kung kanil police pumunta. Police court? Oo. Uh -oh. Alam mo kung sino ang fiscal. Kaya mm -hmm. alam mo kung niluluto. Can you tell us who your counterparts Ay, are? Ay, si Congressman uh, sa Justice, si Umali, si Ray. Uh, mm -hmm. Ayan, mag-usa yan. And what is he saying? Oh, yeah. oh, Nakafile lang. Nakafile lang. So all these bills are filed. Uh -huh. Yung police court, yung motorcycle uh -huh. crime, mm. yung... Uh, yung plebs, kapo, nag-meeting kami dito. Strengthening the IAS and plebs. Yes. Does that need a law? Yung, because the ISAS is the internal affairs. You need a law because inuupuan eh. Anong inuupuan? Inuupuan yung kaso. Mabagal. Dapat pagkaya. Sabi ko, 15 days to investigate. 15 days to report. You mean to say the head of the PNP cannot say, I want that report no, out they, in they 15 do days? You know why? Mm. Uh, sabi nila, it's simply this. Kabaru ko yan eh. Hindi na sasabihin yan. Kabaru natin yan. Frat natin yan. Mixta natin yan. Bakit eight months, eh, hindi pa sila nagpa-file? I mean, that's, that's, that's because... I think, a, a just, you know, justified question. Why eight months you're it correct. takes and you haven't filed the damn you're thing? Correct. You're correct. Napaka medyo, sagal medyo, nyo. Medyo kulang kami dyan. Dapat talaga hinahaplit yan. Kaya kailangan ko sabi Anong hinahaplit? Na, nilalati ko. Ah, this is my favorite. Ano yan? Mandatory law enforcement video recording. Yes. Okay. Anong camera? All right. Do, do, have you made estimates of how much it will cost to have... Uh, video recording cameras for everybody. Hindi naman lahat ng police bibigyan yan eh. O sa, sino? Ang bibigyan lang dyan yung mga on operation, may dalang search warrant. Drug operations. May search warrant, nag-issue ng warrant of arrest, mm -hmm. at saka yung mga SWAT, uh -oh. at saka dapat may head camera yung mga kotse. Okay. So how many do you think will be needed and how Hindi have you ba? made an estimate of how much it is going to cost the Filipino people? Because that has to be given Depending out. Depending yan eh. sa committee ni Ping Lakson. Uh -oh. Ihimayin namin yan. What do you recommend so that in eight Gusto months, they ako, at least have gusto, passed one no. no, no sandi, gusto mo ba akong maging frank? Magagaling naman yung mga senador, no? Yung iba. Ano ba yan? Ano, let us, let us be naman, very, very, very frank. Karami yan magagaling. Okay. Karami yan, they're good hearted. Ano, sinabi mo lahat. And then then and I, I would and really... Ako ko na ko yan. Nahihiyarin ako dahil hindi naman ako nagmamagaling. Ang sinasabi ko, hindi ipipigil yan kung di tayo maninindigan. Kung may testigo, katulad nung kay Kian, may testigo, bravo! The Justice Committee came out with a report on extrajudicial killings. May extrajudicial killing, ha? Senator, yes. Dalilo yun, ha? Wala akong ebidensya to support. Dahil wala akong testigo, wala akong dokumento, wala akong testigo na may pumapatay. Pero itong nangyari kay Kian. O yan, huli yan. Huli yan. So you're saying now we have documents. 
or it's not enough. You have to have documents for every person who died. Dali nga yun si Populis eh. Tapos yun, may laban.